Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from group 2, section 2. In this video, my group member and I will be presenting about our project, which is multi-purpose phone holder. First of all, I will introduce to you my group member. First, Muhammad Azim, Amira Azrai, me Alia Natasha, Cik Nurul Nazifa, Nur Ain Shafika and Nurul Aina. First, for my part, I will present about the problem statement of our project. The first point is, the existing design of phone holder is too complex and make it difficult to use. The second one is, the tilt angle existing phone holder is fake and make it difficult to adjust the size of phone holder. The third one, the existing phone holder is easily to break because it has too many small and mechanical parts such as spring, screw or fastener. The last one, the phone holder in the market is heavy and expensive. So that makes some people cannot afford to have it. Next, for the objective of this project is to design a simple and lightweight of phone stand which can hold a phone. The second one is a phone holder that can be easier to bring anywhere and anytime. And the last objective is it comes with extra accessories such as cable charging port hole, pencil holder and speaker hole. For model selection, we have designed four models of the phone holder. For first model, it has two base that connected by a fastener. The phone holder support also are too slim and make the device unstable. This model is safe for the device since the phone holder support can grip the device and it also has versatility that applicable for small or bigger size of a device. However, for second model, the holder of the phone holder has small space for a device to slip easily. This model is safe for a device but not suitable for the bigger size of a device that and will have problem to insert or remove the device from the phone holder. For third model, the model the phone holder can support well but it not safe to use because of the division part is too short and because of that even at a slight movement, the device can easily fall off. The lastly, the fourth model is stable and safe to use, and we can adjust the space size based on the size of a device. So in our project, we selected model for that complete our feature and suitable for all each range in this video it will be including the methodology and the result hey everyone so today i will be focusing on the method the approach on our product on cnc machining so this is the example of our product we'll be focusing on the model one of our product which is this the phone all day itself and then uh before that, we are, I'm going to explain how we're going to do or how our approach is. So first, we divide into two setups. For the first setups, there is a uh, four things that happen. So first of all, uh, we're going to CNC this pocket, uh, the phone holder itself, and then this hole, the protection hole for changing uh, the angle of the phone so we need this pocket this pocket and then this hole is for putting things inside for example pencil or pen or anything and then contour of this product and finally the music or the audio hole so I will be going to explain on the type of tools that we use and how we're going to do this. So 
of us for setup this first setup we're going to use four tools which is a chamfer drill flat end mill and there, there is two type of flat end mill the first one is a three millimeter and mill and then uh for the material of course we are going to use carbide because it's suitable for cutting especially aluminium and then uh, as you know the, the diameter is 3 mm and the overall length is 80 mm because we need a suitable height for our product because the the product itself is a 40 mm so just to make sure we make it 80 mm and the other the shoulder and things so the next will be the cutting the top so for all of our machining we will use 5000 rpm since it's uh, suitable and then uh, the cutting feed rate will be 1000 as in the setup already given and all these things and feed per tool is 0 0.067 and the ram feed is 33.33 mm per minute so this one is the same too except for the diameter is 5mm and for the drill we'll be using a 10mm drill since the hole is 10mm and the length itself is 120mm because the height itself is the height of the product is 50cm 50mm just to make sure and then last part will be chamfer I'm using the chamfer with a 10 mm and the tip is 5 mm with a shaft diameter of 10 mm so for the next the last setup we'll be using an a ball end mill since we need a contour front so for this thing we are using a 5 mm with a overall long overall length of 70 mm and the cutting data, the spin speed is going same as others, which is 5000 rpm. And the cutting rate, the rain fit rate will also be the same. And so, as I explained before, we are going to focus on this thing. So, for our milling, we are going to use a 3 axis milling machine. So we'll jump up to the simulation of the CNC. So first we are focusing on the pocket or the phone holder. So for this uh, going at uh, 5000 RPM and the deep ray will be around 5mm deep ray. Bit faster, so next we'll be focusing on the center pocket. This time we are using the 3 millimeter end mill tool, which is tool 4. And then the next will be the drill, a 10 millimeter drill, and the first step will be the contour on the edge. And the last step will be this. For the setup 5, we're going with this uh, trim, uh, 10, 10, uh, a 5 millimeter end ball to the
So that's all for the simulation. The choice of aluminum as the main material for the product is due to the lower density of aluminum than other common metals. It is soft, non-magnetic and ductile as well. Another explanation for choosing aluminum is that it is hard and long-lasting to crack. The width, length and height is 2.6 inch, 3.94 inch and 1.57 inch which is suitable for 6 inch and 5.5 inch screen cell phones. The division part of the design is also adjustable for the user to alter the angle of the phone according to their preference. But this product has a deficiency due to the selection of only aluminum for the material. Less friction was applied that would make it not static. So, by adding another material at the bottom of the product, such as rubber to grip and raise the friction to the future improvement and suggestion of this product, so that the product is not easily moved. For the conclusion, the CNC CAD CAM project offers students huge advantage in which when creating a valuable product for the industry. They can apply and expand mechanical expertise in many aspects. The process of brainstorming the idea from the design method to the production system provides a great benefit for students to improve their abilities. Students would also be able to fulfill the valuable CAD CAM system operating skills. In the machining process, the machining parameter will apply. The process of machining, including drilling, milling, and chamfering for the production of the component. The desired design had achieved all the dimensions and measurement. Lastly, the product was effectively designed to meet the needs of customers as all objectives have been successfully reached. So, last is uh, our group's uh, visual aids. Uh, the what's and why's of uh, the multifunction pole holder. So our phone holder has a simple design, uh, but yet rigid, so that it will not break easily when it comes to wear and tear, and also for a longer term usage. Next is versatility. When it comes to versatility, our phone holder can fit any phone from as small as an iPhone to as big as a tablet without any hesitation. Then, the phone holder comes with features such as access to the charging port, the uh, pencil holders, uh, especially for iPad users, and it, al and it also has a speaker hole to enhance the audio quality when you have to use hands-free or listening to music. And last but not least, the value of aesthetics in our phone holder is high enough that it is minimalist, pleasing to the eyes and not to contrast, especially when it put uh, at the workspace area. So that's all from us. Thank you for your time.